the big three. Nigga, it's just big me, nigga. Bum. And if Young Metro don't trust Drake, is Future gonna shoot him? <laughs> nigga, what? Nigga, what? But before we even get into this whole Kendrick, J. Cole, Drake ish. Don't this whole album sound like a F you to Drake? This sound like 17 tracks of we don't trust you, Drizzy. We don't trust you, Drake. We don't trust you, Aubrey Graham. Because I'm sitting here and I'm wondering, ever since the release of this album and nigga said it was coming out, I said, future? Drake's man? Why is he doing an album with the Ops? And you know it's going to be one dummy in the comments talking about Metro Boomin and Future, they came in together. Remember, if young Metro don't trust you, I'm going to shoot you. I know that. But still, y'all don't remember this tweet? Y'all don't remember Metro Boomin being butt hurt? That he didn't get rap album of the year? Yet. Her loss still keeps winning rap album of the year over H and V. Proof that award shows are just politics and not for me. I don't care about awards, honestly. The true award and reward is knowing that the music I spend so much time on brings joy to people's everyday lives. And then the nigga deleted this, right? He deleted this like big, big Drizzy wasn't going to see it. Now, Nigas is linking up and clicking up and doing albums talking about we don't trust you. And if Young Metro don't trust Drake, is Future going to shoot him? Listen to Future and how he talking on this album. I'm like, damn, who the fuck is Future talking to from the beginning? From track one, we don't trust. The first track is we don't trust you. Another question we need to ask, did Future and Drake fall out? Because Future had to know that Kendrick was talking to Drizzy. And, and Drake... You know you my favorite artist, but, 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 but this album got 17 tracks on it, and I got 15 of them in my playlist. This shit is hard. That nigga Metro was putting his dick in these records, nigga. That, that nigga, I, I was about to say, Drizzy, I don't trust you. That's just, that's just how that shit was making me feel. Drake, you know you my nigga, but the nigga almost made me say, I don't trust Drake. I had to realize where the fuck I was at. It was like I woke up for, from a nightmare. I didn't know who to trust. I'm just being honest. I didn't trust myself. This shit is hard. But now we have to get to this verbal acrobatics. We got to get to this verbal destruction because another nigga who did not come to play was Mr. Kendrick Lamar. I wish I knew this nigga's middle name because that nigga put a middle finger in this motherfucking verse and he was very strategic. I got to play some bits for y'all. Niggas clicking up, but they not be legit. No 40 water. Tell them, ah. Tell them, ah. When that nigga said niggas clicking up, I knew what the fuck he was talking about. I knew that nigga didn't come to play. That nigga left that. You know what that nigga was talking about on his last album? And, you know, I'm trying to be a better husband and a better man. And I'm growing. That nigga put all that shit in the closet. That nigga didn't give a fuck about changing. That nigga said, I'm bringing control back. That nigga, get, that nigga said, I'm going back to whatever 2000, whatever the fuck control came back. He said, nigga, I'm dipping in that bag. He said, nigga, I don't need TDE to go E-V-I-L on niggas, okay? I could have I could have did something better with that TDE to EVL. I, 
that should have rhymed a little better. But y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. That nigga went off, okay? When that nigga said two niggas clicking up, I said these light-skinned niggas in trouble. Because that's what this is. This is the one dark-skinned nigga versus the two light-skinned niggas. The light-skinned niggas then clicked up, and they, they he, and Kendrick felt like they spit on him. <sighs> he felt like they spit on him. That's how he felt. And you got to think about it. He ain't got TDE with him no more. He kind of like a lone wolf. I'm not saying TDE niggas don't fuck with him, but I do feel like Kendrick is in a different place now as a quote-unquote independent artist. So I just, I, I, I feel like if it's any rap beef, that nigga really coming for blood. This ain't, see, Control was like, oh, you know, Kendrick is not serious. He just wants guys to rap. He just wants to shake up the industry. And I feel like, yeah, he trying to shake some shit up right now because it's summertime. He like, yeah, niggas come and play. He see Drake out there on the tour and shit. He see him bringing out J. Cole and shit. He said, no, nah, nigga, fuck all that, that, that sweet shit. Fuck all that. You sweating at the concert, wringing your shirt shit. He said, no, it's time to rap. He said, he said they sneak this in first person shooter. You know who he talking to. He talking to that light skinned nigga with them dirty ass dreads thinking he Jay-Z. Why Jay-Z and, and J. Cole got the same damn dreads? You tell me. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, bum. Said, that nigga said, I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. And it's only one big three that we give a fuck about. It's Kendrick, Cole, and Drake. I don't give a fuck about you niggas trying to slide Big Sean in. I don't give a fuck about you niggas trying to slide. Who, who these niggas else be trying to slide up in there? Uh, now niggas trying to slide Killer Mike in here because he want album here. I don't give a fuck. Niggas trying to slide. No, Kanye and Jay-Z, no. There's only one big three that we give a fuck about. It's the light-skinned niggas versus the dark-skinned niggas. All you other niggas is, is too light and too caramel-skinned, and you're not dark enough. Niggas gonna say, why you keep bringing up color? I don't know, nigga, because it's entertaining. It, you know, you wake up, nigga, wake up. It's late. I'm trying to keep myself up, bitch. I'm up late putting this content out for you, motherfucker. You better keep up. This is when the nigga really fucked me up. Almost walked out of this bitch. Almost threw the microphone. Hey, your best work is a light pack, nigga. Prince out live, Mike Jack, nigga. Boom. When that nigga said, Prince outlive Mike Jack some of you motherfuckers don't even really know what the fuck that nigga y'all don't even know what he talking about see that's when I said oh this shit deep cause see in Kendrick head let me tell you what that mean in Kendrick head fuck J. Cole in Kendrick head it's only him and Drake J. Cole's number three see that, that like that nigga just gave you the order it's obvious that Drake knows. I mean, my bad. It's obvious that Kendrick knows that Drake is number one. He's number two. And that nigga just said, oh, no, J. Cole, you don't even have a spot. Drake is Mike. I'm Prince. And, and you just one of them niggas. You pick a nigga you want to be, but you ain't, you ain't the iconic niggas like me. Like, even that was a diss. Y'all, some of y'all didn't even pick that shit up. And see, when I say y'all know what the fuck he talking about, a lot of y'all don't understand. Mike and Prince had a very quiet but loud feud. And for this nigga to say Prince outlived Mike, and, 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 and I feel like the Drake and Kendrick comparison is similar to Mike and Prince because you got people who say, well, you know, Mike was more famous than Prince, but they feel like Prince was more talented. 
They say Mike had more 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 hits, but Prince was the nigga was like who really had the jams. And I feel like that's so that's so similar to people talking about Drake and Kendrick and everybody having their reasons and they feel like Kendrick is a better lyricist, but they might say Drake put out better music or he had better albums. And I'm going to tell you something. This is really how I feel. To me, I feel like can't nobody argue with this point of why I put Drake over Kendrick. Kendrick only got like, what, three, four albums? Like four albums, right? Versus a nigga who been consistently putting out fire. To me, that one argument alone, you would have to give Drake the upper hand. While Kendrick albums and his projects are all classics to me. But it's obvious that he needs to take more time to put out good music. Whereas Drake easily puts out really good music at, at a very fast pace. It's almost like one nigga has to really work to be great versus the other nigga who can just wake up and be great. Which brings me to everybody feeling like Drake is on the clock. And how fast will he have a response to this? And to me, the fact that J. Cole just got put to number three automatically, some people felt like J. Cole being real clicky with Drake was like J. Cole saying, hey, all right, I'm done. I'm done trying to be number one. You got it, Drake. You got it. It was uh, Some people really feel like that nigga Cole just waved the white flag and said, okay, bro, it, it, you got it. You got it, bro. You number one. I'm done competing. I'm done competing. And see, I brought up Big Sean purposely a while ago because that's how I feel about Big Sean. I feel like that nigga just waved the white flag. He didn't want to compete no more. I, I, I think he even said it in this new freestyle. He put out something about that big three and da 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 But this breaks my heart to say it because I'm from Detroit. Big Sean could not handle the pressure of these three niggas, and I feel like it just made him want to quit doing music. Now, his excuse will say, I I had a family with Janae Aiko, and I had a baby, but I think in actuality, you felt like you couldn't, you couldn't fuck with these three niggas. And I think that fucked with Big Sean's psyche and his mind and fucked him up to where he said, you know what, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm done, I'm good. I made a lot of money. I'm rich. I got a family. They'll never, you know, accept me. They'll never put me in that same class as these niggas. I'm waving the white flag. And that's how niggas feel about J. Cole right now. So if I was J. Cole, I would try to beat Drake to the punch. And don't get it twisted. J. Cole been putting out fire for a while now. Everything he spit on and he rap on is fucking phenomenal. I still think about that Benny the Butcher verse that J. Cole gave us a while back. But even with all of that, some people will still say it's really not a big three. It's a big two. And it's Kendrick and Drake and J. Cole. He can just he can take three like on some pity shit. And, I, and I'm just being real. I, I'm telling it how it is. I, I, I mean, I'm telling I, I fuck with all of these niggas. Because I still feel like you can have the body of work conversation when it comes to J. Cole and Kendrick. Because for whatever reason, it takes Kendrick a long time to put a fire album together. That nigga need, he, he, I mean, it feel like he need 10 years to put a, a decent body of work together. And I'm, I know it didn't take 10 years between his first three albums. I know. But when you compare that to how consistent Drake and J. Cole is, yeah, it, it, it do feel like 10 years. So this conversation about the big three is deeper than a lot of y'all niggas think. And I do want to see how fast Drake is going to respond to this. But I, I, but here's the thing. See, with Drake, this feels like 
it's not just Kendrick coming after him. It's Metro and Future too. And some somebody, I, I think somebody's going to later on today, the they're going to have some theory about why Future and Drake fell out. But just remember, Never Gave Up told you it's obvious that it's something going on with Drake and Future. So whatever Drake puts out, he need to make sure he got something for Future and Metro Boomin too. Don't don't just make it about Metro. Now, here's the other possibility. Will Drake and J. Cole do a track together and get at Kendrick? Or would y'all say that's bitch shit? Would y'all say that's like bitch shit that's soft? He should just do it by himself. I don't know. But this shit, this shit is getting really interesting to me, bro. This is the rap shit that everybody like. And 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 at the end of the day, thank you, Kendrick, for 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 starting the shit up. Thank you for getting it lit. It's almost summer. I, I I thank you for giving us some entertainment. But I mean shit, 2024 been so fucking jam-packed, bro. Do we need anything else? I need to know what y'all thought about We Don't Trust You as an album. What y'all thought about that Cardi song? Okay, type shit. I need to know what y'all felt or how y'all feel about this project. I do like it a lot. It's it's a lot of fire on here. The beats is fire. I mean, I thought to myself, shit, this is really just a future album. This like a, a a DJ Khaled future type shit. You know what I'm saying? Where Metro, he just he just making all the beats. I don't know, but it's something about Metro where I feel like he an artist though. I just always feel like Metro about to rap or some shit. But obviously, if it's Metro, it's gonna be all beats. But I just thought to myself, like, yeah, this is a future album with features. You know what I mean? Just produced by Metro Boomin. And I know as I'm saying that, it's like, duh, nigga, of course that's what it's gonna be. But I guess it's just amazing to me how Metro Boomin and slid that nigga then slid his way into that DJ Khaled type of, you know what I'm saying? He he didn't did this with 21. But see, I like how Metro Boomin does it more than Khaled. Because Khaled, he does it and he makes beats for a whole bunch of niggas and they get on the albums. Metro, he singles niggas out. And he like, all right, me and you going to get in the studio. We going to make a whole bunch of shit. And I feel like that makes the projects tighter, more creative, and just better overall when you lock in with one nigga and you say, all of these beats is for you. You tell me what you like, then we going to put this project out. And I think that's why those albums with 21 Savage are really successful. And I think that's why, you know, every time Metro does this, it works. And when he thinks about his last project... It was that formula when he was talking about, oh, yeah, you know, her loss did better and all that other shit. But, nigga, you went against your own formula. You tried to do the DJ Khaled shit. You tried to just do a whole bunch of beats with a whole bunch of artists. And I don't think it came out as well as something like this or something like the albums that he did with 21 Savage. You want to get them awards, you keep doing this with niggas. You keep singling out niggas. If I was Metro Boomin', the next nigga I would do something like this with is Gunna. Now, I don't know about the politics, and I know Future don't fuck with Gunna, and I don't know if that'll put Metro Boomin' in a bad place, but if Metro and Gunna got together and did a whole album, that shit would be fire. And I know some niggas listening to this right now being like, yeah, nigga, yeah. I know, that's, all, that's why y'all fuck with me. That's why I speak on music. A lot of y'all niggas don't really understand. I really been talking about music on this channel for a long time, especially rap. Because I was a nigga who got up every morning and got on hotnewhiphop.com and I had the new shit on my iPod and I was bragging like, y'all niggas ain't got this. Okay? So, I'm, I'm calm. I'm collected. Let me know what y'all think about this. Like the video, subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.